Hey again guys and welcome to a Disney Infinity um, Power Disc Wave 2 video. So basically Disney um, tonight finally released images and kind of descriptions of all the Power Discs we're going to be getting um, in Wave 2 of the Disney Infinity Collection. So this time around um, there's a little bit more I would say just variety of different types of characters and the first one was kind of the basic characters you would think you would see and now they've got kind of got some characters I'm pretty happy to see uh, like Doofensmurf and even Ralph I just like seen on the pogs this cool and Vincent from um, Vincent from Frank and Weenie which I did not think would be at all a focus of this game but it's cool that they um they f feature some of these characters that it's cool to see sometimes on here and the Headless Horseman they have that that is the most random one in this collection but let's start we're gonna do we're gonna go through these one by one so first we have Ralph's Power of Destru Destruction Disc. So basically all this does is the in-game character has the in-game character has a chance um, to deal extra damage. So basically I think it's similar to um, Bolt's Power Disc that was in the first series. Now next we're going on to Dr. Doofensmurf's Diamonds Anator. Um, which basically gives in-game weapons a chance to do more damage. So this is not you, this is only if you have a weapon. Um, so Unfortunately, it's not as much. I really want that one. one. I love Doofus. It's one of my favorite Disney characters in the last couple of years, you know, especially for the TV. So i um, going to have to get that somehow. Now, then there's Electro Charge, which in-game characters have a chance to gain more health. So basically, that's more health, which I don't know. I just health isn't really that important that you respawn instantly, but it's still cool. I kind of want that one just because it's a nice little picture of Vincent and his dog. And then we have Star Commander Shield, which is obviously a tie-in to the Buzz Lightyear stuff. And that's in-game character has a chance to receive less damage. Once again, more health type stuff. I don't know. You just don't really need that. Now, here's where it gets interesting. User control. Yeah, the Tron disc. It's, does it have the, um, it used to be all red and it used to be um, kind of like a holographic on it, you know, image. Now it's the basic disc. It's the, it's the fifth one in this series. Um... Just this is just basically you gain, uh, you have a chance to gain um, experience faster. It's a pretty good disc and all. I'm very surprised that basically they said this is a Toys R Us exclusive, and I guess they kind of on away. But like, do you really care if it's the red disc or not? So yeah, those are gonna drop in value instantaneously by November. Um, then we have the Pizza Planet delivery truck. So this is from Toy Story. Um, yeah, so this is basically this is the toy store, the, the cool little Pizza Planet delivery truck, which is in most Pixar movies, if you um, haven't seen it. It's in almost every Pixar movie, basically, somewhere in there. Uh, next, we have Maximus, which is the horse from Tangled, which you get a ride around. You know, he's funny and all, but if I got a mount, I already have Mulan's mount, so I don't really need this one. But I'm sure some people will be super excited. They really want, um, you know, Tangled stuff. Here you go. We got some Rapunzel stuff right there. And here's the one, once again, I'm so confused that I got in the game. And it's the Hellas Horseman's horse. This is awesome. I really want. I'm probably not going to get it unless I get lucky in a pack. Just the coolness that we're having the Hellas Horseman, like Ichabod Crane, very old movie. Uh, I don't think any kids know this. I'm surprised they got this through. How did they get this in there? That's awesome. That's an old movie that's just rarely referenced. It's not even in the theme. You know, it's on the theme parks. You know, Mr. Toad's in the theme parks, but not that short. It's almost never referenced anymore surprisingly awesome fact all right so then we have the flamingo croquet mallet which is another wonderland thing i'm always up for more wonderland items um i really need this i really get why you would need in-game items you can't use them in the you can use them in the toy boxes so that's kind of disappointing if you could use this in game and then the incredible or something then awesome but since you can't use it in like the story modes i'm not as interested interested but it's cool that they put another alice thing in you now here's another thing Hanging 10 stitch with, <laughs> with the sur surfboard. Sorry, it's kind of a funny name. Um, this basically gets you like a hoverboard similar to uh, the hoverboard in The Incredibles. It's basically probably the same thing, but a different skin. Once again, this was uh, is going to be at one point a exclusive at Toys R Us, but it's coming in this. This is basically, I think this almost, I would think, confirms that the hanging stitch, you know, th this this disc will be the next one that would be a... Um, Toys R Us exclusive because of the fact that it's coming out and I don't know if they would have it really come out afterwards as a rare because that doesn't really make sense. So many people are going to have it. Would anyone really care? So my guess is that Stitch is surfboard will be the next um, Disney Infinity exclusive. But that's just my guess. We have no clue yet if that's true or not. 
Then Mike's new call. Once again, another exclusive gone, non-exclusive. That one was super difficult to get. So I'm very happy for the people that really wanted this call. Here you go. You get it now. You get Mike Wazowski's call. It's in the toy box. So enjoy. Now we have Frozen. We have um, basically just these two Frozen discs. I'm going to go through it quickly. Um, this first Frozen disc is basically just the theme. So this is, you know, the background is going to be all snowy and stuff. And yeah, this comes actually with the Frozen, um, the place that if you go get that with both of the characters from the movie. And then there's Chill in the Air, which is um, just making, oh no, this is actually... Make this, no, this one actually is the sky. I guess the other one is terrain objects, but this is the sky. So this is this one will have the snow and stuff, and the one before will have um, the ground and stuff be different. Now, here we go. Back with Vincent, we got the new Holland uh, Skyland, Skyline, ugh, which is basically from the movie Frank and Winnie. It's just this is the sky being themed. Once again, see, I don't get this. This is this one's the sky first, and then you get the terrain stuff with Victor's experiments, which has Sparky the dog on it. And this is basically just the ground being um all Tim Burney. Now this is uh, funny too. Tim Burton has two movies in this. We have the Halloween Town Sky, which is of course from the classic film The Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is going to be yeah, this is the sky. So yeah, it's once again sky first. And then we of course have Jack Scary Decorations, which is terrain objects from Nightmare Before Christmas. Um both of these are kinda cool. What's super confusing though is they kind of have the same picture. So I think they're gonna I think they're wrong. I think there's going to be another picture. I have no clue why they kept um one picture. <laughs> Alright. So there's three rare disc and they don't show what they are. One of them is the Muppets. It's the um the 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 call from the show. Um it says get to ride get on this ride to Mayhem from your favorite Muppet show. That's one of the rare discs. It's gonna be the Muppet uh that, I think it's the Mayhem call. I forget what it's called. I really do. But um, that's the 18th disc. And then the 19th disc is if you like condors and flying gracefully, then you'll <laughs> then this will be your favorite power disc, which is basically Condor Man's um, flight. You know, you're going to be able to fly around with it and stuff. So it's cool. I think it's like a flying mount or something like that to count. Uh, then last but not least, uh, from Peter Pan, this vehicle is perfect for one-handed <laughs> airborne pirates who like to crackle. Um, yeah, and basically this is just, um, from Peter Pan. It's a it's, a, it's a Captain Hook's like flying ship. It's a little ship that you get to fly around in. Um, yeah, so those are the three rare discs. So yeah, that's those are all coming out this November at the... Uh, I think they're coming out basically the black the weekend of Black Friday basically right then right by the time right around Thanksgiving so yeah go get those if you're super excited about them you can pre-order now I'm just gonna wait and hopefully there'll be some deals you know which power disc is your favorite which ones are you excited about I'm mostly excited about um, Doofenshmirtz uh, the Headless Horseman's um, or the, the those are the two main ones I'm super excited about but I I, do, I am there's some cool ones in this I like some of the artwork and uh, yeah, there's gonna be some. There's gonna be season three coming out, so I'll do a video for season three as soon as it comes out. So yeah, come back and check um, check this channel out, guys, if you like it, you know, and just basically you know comment, subscribe, like all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, come back. I'll be having some more Disney Infinity stuff, like the Wave Two character release dates and just information on those and other videos coming out very soon. So yeah, until then, guys, go out there and play some Disney Infinity, Kingdom Hearts, Castle of Illusion, or Ducktales, all which have come out in the last couple of months. Until then, have a great day.